Hey everybody and welcome. So uh, today we're going to do a subscriber request video. It's going to include uh, some dynamics, some simulations. What we're going to do is create a scene uh, with the house and a tree and the tree is going to lose some leaves. Uh, some are going to be on the floor, some are going to be midair and some are going to stay in the tree. Okay. We're going to use some simulations and dynamics to do that. And we're going to have an end result, which will be a still render, not an animation. Okay. Here we go. Right guys, well we're in my 2018. This is the house that I want to use for our scene and we're going to create a tree in the front yard and we're going to have that tree uh, shed some leaves, okay? Now it's kind of important to understand that it's very different whether you want to have a still render of a tree uh, with a bunch of leaves midair, some still in the tree and some on the floor, or if you're creating an animation where you have that process in place. Big, big difference because in the case of a still render, it doesn't really matter how the leaves hit the floor as long as they're there, right? So that's why this is a, quite a simple process. Um, so we have our house. I did this scene a while back. I did a video on it. I'll put a link below if you want to create the same house. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a tree for the front yard. Now, depending on the Maya version that you're working with, um, it could be a menu called Visor or it could be a menu called Content Browser because all of this changed that, right? Now, um, in the case of Maya 2018, you go to Modeling and then you go to, uh, where is it? Generate. And under Generate, you go to Get Brush, which is uh, right here. Now, as you do that, you'll open up that menu that I talked about and under paint effects, you have a whole list and one of them is called the trees. We're going to select that and then in this overview, we're going to select a tree that actually sheds leaves uh, when it's uh, fall. And um, in this case, I'm going to go with this cherry tree, right? We're going to double click on that and we're going to minimize this. So we don't have any tree just yet. However, our cursor turned into this little pencil thingy. We're going to go towards the space where we want the tree, which is somewhere around here. And I'm going to left click and drag until it doesn't go any further, right? Okay, so now I've got a tree and I at the same time have a couple of issues. First of all, the tree is quite small. We need to fix that. And second, if I hit 4 for wireframe mode, you'll see there's this weird little line going on here, right? And we don't want that either, so we need to fix that. So I'm going to hit 5 to go back. Let's uh, change the size of the tree first. We're going to hit control A to open up the attribute editor. Let's go into cherry tree one and under global scale, we'll change the size from 25 to let's say 75. Better size. Okay. Then let's see if we like the position of the tree. So if I hit W to move it, you'll see that the center pivot is here or the pivot. So we're going to go to uh, modify and center pivot. There you go. So now you can hit E and you can rotate that a little bit if you like. Hit W, move it out a little bit if you like. Just until you're happy with that, right? Okay, now there are a bunch of other tabs here uh, that you can look at and play with. And, uh, you know, you got the mesh output and nerves, all that kind of cool stuff. We're not going to deal with that right now. You do have a lot of options here that will allow you to play with what the tree looks like right now. But again, I'm not going to do that. Okay, so this looks okay, and what we're going to do next is we're going to make sure that this is a polygon object. Now, what do I mean by that? If I go in and do an IPR render of this scene right here, you will see uh, the house, you will not see the tree. And there you go, okay? So, reason for that is that it's not a polygon object. So, I got my tree selected right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in my modeling menu once again. I'm going to go to modify, we're going to go to convert, and we're going to convert paint effects to polygons. I'm going to open up that option box. We're going to go in here and I'll just reset this. What I want is quad outputs. So I don't want triangles, I want quads. There you go. And this is my budget for the polycon of the tree. You can set that higher or lower depending on your needs, but that's where you can do that, right? So let's hit convert. Now we did that. I'm going to go to modify and center pivot again. There you go. So let's see what happens if we now do another IPR render. Let's see if you have a tree and there you have it. Now, the cool thing here is that if you look at the tree in our viewport here, these are all kind of rectangular leaves. They don't look like leaves at all. In the render, however, they do. Okay. 
Now, um, that's because they contain alphas with uh, basically images of leaves. Okay, so in the render, it looks much better. Now, the reason why the trunk here is black is for the simple reason is that I'm using a redshift to render this, and I don't have a redshift material on the bark. So depending on what type of uh, renderer you are using, uh, let's maybe try, I don't know, my hardware. I don't know if that's working or not. Totally different look and feel to it, okay? So just so you know. So I'm gonna go back to Redshift here because that's not what the video is about. So we got our house, we got our tree. Cool. Okay, so what's next? Well, it's all about losing leaves, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make sure that I got everything selected except my tree, all right? So select everything, deselect my tree, deselect my leaves, and I'm gonna go to mesh and combine to make sure that the house and everything else is one thing, and apparently I already did that, so that's okay. And then let's see, we're gonna go into our tree, select our tree, not the leaves, select the house and everything else, and we're gonna go to the FX menu, and then we're gonna to go to end cloth and we're gonna to go to create passive collider. I'm doing that so once the leaves start to fall, they will interact with the house, with the floor and whatnot, okay? So th second thing we need to do is select our actual leaves and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to end cloth and we're gonna go and create an end cloth object. And there you go. And once you do that, if you open up the attribute editor, you have a nucleus, you have an end cloth shape and so forth. So again, all sorts of things you can play with. Wind field generation, pressure, all kind of cool stuff, right? For now, what I wanna do is look at nucleus where we have a gravity. Now, what I want is for these leaves to fall out of the tree and fall on the floor. And maybe not necessarily all of them. Uh, I kinda like a dynamic scene where I got a bunch of them on the floor, some maybe still midair, and some um, you know, still in the tree, okay? So what I most likely need to do is bump up this gravity value a lot. So let's do, I don't know, 90 or so. Now the direction, um, this is X, Y, and Z or Z. So it's negative one on Y, so it's going straight down. That's good. Uh, wind speed, I want some wind, actually quite a bit. The wind direction is in X right now. Now, if you want the wind to go straight down, you would put it here. Uh, X is okay for now, we'll add some wind noise. And then finally what we need to do, and I'll use plane here so the leaves will end up on the floor. Um, let's see, finally what we need to do is we need to set some uh, frames here in our animation. I'll do quite a bit because I'm not quite sure when I will be happy with the scene. So we're gonna set everything to thousand. Let's see if this will work or whether we need to tweak anything. Here we go. Not too much going on just yet, so let's uh, tweak that a little bit. We're gonna go back in. Uh, gravity looks fine. Uh, let's create some air density here. We'll bump the wind speed quite a bit. And the wind direction is good. Let's try that again. Now we're starting to get some leaf movement. Okay, I'm gonna stop it right here. Now, the wind is very, very strong. So basically, we have uh, almost like a windstorm blowing the leaves out of the tree as we speak. Uh, depending on what you want, you can decide to uh, turn that up or turn that down. But uh, so far, I'm happy with the output. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of frame the shot a little bit, maybe something like so. And we'll do a quick IPR render and see how this turned out, okay? And there you have it. Now you can see that there's a slight distance uh, difference between the plane used uh, for the tree here. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna turn the use plane off and that will mean that the leaves will interact with the house and with the floor instead of with that virtual plane, okay? So we'll do this one more time. We'll shut this down, go back to one, hit play again. stop let's do another IPR render I'm 
much better. Well, there you have it, guys. That's all there's to it. So uh, depending on your settings, you will have a, a more relaxed or more dynamic scene, but that's up to you. Um, just wanted to show you guys a technique that I use for this, right? So that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.